Every work of art was created with purpose and feeling. By studying art history, we get an important look into the feelings of those who came before us and those who were fortunate enough to make an emotional mark on the world. We stay connected to our past and find startling parallels with how people have been feeling for years and years over topics like religion, freedom, and love. St. Hedwig of Silencia with Duke Ludwig I of Lichnitz Brieg and Duchess Agnes. This painting, composed of ink and paint on parchment paper, was sanctioned during the Holy Roman Empire in 1353 by St. Hedwig's family after her death. The artist is unknown. If we look at the background of the painting, we see that St. Hedwig is standing in front of an elaborate door painted with much detail. Each notch in the door was carefully painted to illustrate the depth that the painting seeks to create. The darker reds and greens coloring the doorway contrast that of the lighter seen in the clothing of the patrons, also illustrating depth. As you can see, St. Hedwig's garment is exquisitely painted. Her cloak is colored with pastel reds and greens that seem soft to the touch, juxtaposed to what looks to be a shiny and grand fabric making up the body of the garment. The artist accentuates the beading and lace detail throughout to make it look as though you can feel how expensive the garment might be. Although covered in beauty, St. Hedwig looks as though she desires for something more. She clutches her statue of the Virgin Mary and Jesus as she gazes off. At her side are the Duchess and his wife. They are about one-fourth Hedwig's size and look as though they are looking up at her in admiration. After her husband's death in 1238, St. Hedwig decided to devote the rest of her life to caring for the less fortunate. She was very religious and kept a statue of Jesus and Mary with her always, claiming even that once she blessed the sick with this image and they were cured immediately. She was so devoutly religious, in fact, it is said that she often tried to emulate the suffering of Christ by walking barefoot in snow. The Holy Roman Empire was extremely religious, and St. Hedwig was a devout saint. The Paul J. Getty Museum states, her sumptuous garments indicate her aristocratic heritage, but over her right arm she carries her delicate slippers like boots, a reference to the fact that she went barefoot in imitation of the apostles. It is said that St. Hedwig loved her husband more than anything and wanted to be with him again. She devoted her whole life to God in the hopes of seeing him when she passed, and I feel as though the longing to see her late husband is expressed in St. Hedwig's face. Personally, I can relate to the longing that she is feeling, and the painting brings about familiar feelings of despair and dedication. Although she is surrounded by beauty and admiration, all she wants is to see her love again. I think although this work is a display of the longing for the love you deserve, I feel as though many people can relate to it in other ways. Whether that feeling is coming from love, devotion to a goal, or even longing for the way things once were or could be. Although this painting was commissioned in the 1300s nearly 720 years ago, we can still connect with the painter and how they felt about St. Hedwig. Art is one of the few things truly connecting us to the humanity of our past, and we can learn a lot about emotions and past civilization from studying it.